Good morning, Washington Elementary Patriots, and welcome to WSIC, Washington School is Cool News Program. I'm Mrs. Good, your news anchor for the day. Today is Thursday, January the 12th, 2017. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our moment of silence. Girls on the Run interest forms will be sent home with all girls in grades three through five today. Girls should return their interest forms to their homeroom teachers by Wednesday, January the 18th. 15 girls will be selected to participate on the team by lottery drawing. Girls chosen for the team will receive applications and further instructions on Thursday, January the 19th. If you're selected for the team, we will meet on Tuesdays and Thursdays beginning February the 7th from 3.15 to 4.30 in the counseling room and at the track. Friday will be a club day, and remember all your big money order is due uh, on Friday also. The cost for the yearbook is $21. Congratulations to our Run Walkathon winners. Thanks to all Washington Elementary Patriots, the Run Walkathon raised more, oh my goodness, than $7,000 this year. On the menu for lunch today, you'll have the choice between a barbecue pork sandwich or a grilled chicken salad, potato wedges, baked beans, coleslaw, mixed grapes, and pears will also be served. Let's now check in with our other WSIC reporters and see what they have to share with us today. Teachers, have you made a New Year's resolution about eating healthier? I thought so. Students, you could eat ice cream, cake, and cookies all day long. For a while, you might be able to, but is it the best thing for your growing body? No. We should have healthy food like grain, vegetables, fruit, dairy, and healthy protein. For the past two days, we have heard from Sadie Blaylock, a Patriot first grader, and Caitlin Baker, a Patriot fifth grader, on what they think we should have on our plates. I really like hearing their point of view for this investigative report. Let's talk a little more about what should be on, our, on your plate. The United States Department of Agriculture, or USDA, has a credible white site called www.choosemyplate.gov. This website says that they will give you recipes, wet foods, and flavors of foods. It, it also states that the right mix can help you be healthier now and, and in the future. This is a plate with all different examples of protein, vegetables, and carbohydrates. As you can see, it is called a healthy plate guide, which shows pictures of all the proteins, vegetables, and carbohydrates, as well as the healthy fats in the middle of the plate. This is the healthy food eating pyramid. Have you ever heard of it in gym? Did you know that you are supposed to have two to three servings in dairy and in protein and grains? Remember to look for this picture which shows your plate and the portion serving for the eat for each item in order to balance your healthy meal out. So you could eat ice cream, cake, pizza, and candy every day, but if you want to grow your body grow your body and your brain, remember to eat a healthy meal each day. I'm Alex Caldwell for WSIC Investigates. And now back to the studio. Good morning.
today's weather will be 65 degrees and 20% chance of rain with clouds. Tomorrow will be 63 degrees and with a light rain in the evening. Showing us what to wear is our weather bug. The weather bug today is Noah from Learning Center B. Looking cool, Noah. Thanks for your help. Today's science question asks, why does it rain? It's very cold up in the atmosphere, and when water evaporating from the surface cools quickly, it attaches to other water droplets and frozen crystals of water to form clouds. Eventually, these clouds, water droplets, get so heavy that they fall to earth as rain droplets. The most rain ever recorded in 24 hours was 72 inches on an island in the Indian Ocean. The most in a year was more than a thousand inches in Chirapunjia, India. That's a lot of rain! While it also rains on other planets in our solar system, their rain is very different from ours, sometimes evaporating before it even reaches the ground. Now let's check back with the news desk for today's final thoughts. Thanks, team. Remember, if you have anything exciting happening in your learning center, please let WSIC know. Send an email to our crew at WSIC at K12K.com. If you like to travel around the world and were to visit Italy, Spain, Portugal, Greece, and Croatia, on which continent would you be? Well, if you answered Europe, then give a patriot. Reporting for the WSIC crew, I'm Mrs. Good, and tune in tomorrow for WSIC News, and have a Thunder Thursday.